the virtual summer camp Tom Myers for persons with disabilities and their families. August 15, 2020. Summer camp activities. We prepare a good educational video materials that you will like it. Just sit back and relax because I know everyone are so excited to witness the activities that we prepared for all of you. So without further ado, let's start the activity with a puppet show. Tom Myers for persons with disabilities and their families. August 15, 2020. I am Bonnie the Rabbit! How are you today? You look so sad. Why? Can we sing a song together? So that our day would be happy and exciting! Okay, Bonnie the Rabbit, let's sing and we will follow you! Okay kids, let's sing We Are Family. Do you know the song? Alright, we know that song. Oh, I can dance while singing. Oh, I can clap my hands while singing. Okay, are you all ready to sing? One, two, three, sing! We are family. We're glad that we have come to share our lives with you. To be strong and to be alone. We have learned to love each other in every single day. Because we love our families. Yay! Very nice! Cherry, you dance. And Peter, clap your hands. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a wonderful song. We have to build love within our family. Put that in your heart so that every day would be happy. Let's sing again. We are family. We're glad that we have come to share our lives with you. To be strong and to be long. We have learned to love each other in every single day because we love our families. So don't be sad. We are not alone. We have families and we are all one family. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Thank you, Bunny! Thank you, Bunny! Bye bye! And now let's proceed to the next activity. It's an outdoor activity. It's about buying something important needs in a grocery store or supermarket. And it is prepared and presented by Teacher Adrian. The virtual summer camp, Tom Myers, for persons with disabilities and their families. August 15, 2020. We need to spray 
sanitizer or we have to wipe sanitizer. I will get tissue and then I will put sanitizer to the, to the part so that it is safe, so that it is safe to use. The handle of the cart. Welcome kids, I'm here now in the grocery store. Welcome to your summer camp activity. I would like to teach the children how to become independent in buying for their needs in the house. This is the list of the mother for us to buy. I will read it for you. White bread, blue, one piece. Halloumi cheese, one piece. Fresh milk, four, colored blue. Four cartoons, full fat. Banana, six pieces. Apple, six pieces. Orange, three pieces. Juice, cartoon, six pieces. Juice. These are the leaves. Huh? Also, this includes also the fruits here. Also, okay, I, I think this is the list. Only okay, kids. Kids, if you are going to the supermarket or in the grocery store, remember that be with your mother or father. And do not forget to wear masks like this to wear gloves like this and by the guidance of your adult people in the house ready set go first we are going to buy milk i will guide the child to buy milk there are two choices the blue one full fat and the red one low fat okay what would you choose the blue one full fat or the red one what will you choose yes good you are going to choose the blue one because according to your list written there you are going to buy full fat blue color okay yes you are going to buy cheese we have two choices here halloumi cheese this one halloumi cheese and the natural elemental cheese slices you know what are you going to buy this one or this one halloumi and then this is natural cheese okay okay this one very good halloumi cheese we are here in the bread station we are going to buy bread there are many choices here. I chose two. And you are going to select one. What are you going to buy? The milk bread. One, the milk bread, the white bread, or the brown bread. Milk bread or the brown bread. What are you going to choose? What are you going to buy? Do you know what are you going to buy? Huh? You choose. Which are you going to buy? This one, the milk bread. Okay, very good. The milk bread or the white bread. Very good. Here in the fruits corner, we are going to buy bananas here, oranges, and apples. And you can see different kinds of fruits. But mom told me to buy bananas, oranges, and apples. Four apples. Okay, you are going to count. Four apples. You are going to buy four apples. One, two, three, four. How many apples? Yes, very good. Four apples. You are going to buy four apples. 
then we are going to put in the, in the plastic container. Next kids, we are going to buy oranges. We are going to buy how many oranges? Three oranges. One, two, three, three oranges. Now we are going to buy bananas. We have yellow bananas and we have yellow green bananas. We are going to buy six bananas. We are going to choose this color. Yellow green. Okay, we are going to count six bananas that we are going to buy. One, two, three, four, five, six bananas. How many bananas we are going to buy? Six. Okay, very good. We are here in the cashier and we are going to pay what we bought. Observe or do not forget to observe social distancing. And you are going to wait for your turn. You fall in line if there are a lot of people lining up. You have to wait for your turn and slowly push your cart going to the cashier. Prepare your money. What are you going to buy? The milk? What we bought here are the milk. We have the banana here. We have the apples. Oranges, the milk, bread, white bread, and also the halloumi cheese. Before you prepare your money, you are going to count first how much and ask the cashier how much the the cost of what you bought. Okay? Yes. Okay, very good. As the total cost of what we bought. The cost of what we bought. How much did you total bill is 59. The total bill is 59. So our money is 100. So I will give it properly to the cashier. I received 100. Do you have drug card? Points card? Okay. Since we don't have... Ah, we have. Okay. Change we How have. much the change? You the are, change? You are going to ask the change, okay? The change 41, 10, 20, 30, 41. Thank you. Okay, and then don't don't forget, kids, the receipt like this. The receipt. Count again. And then you will count again the money. 10, 20, 30, 41. Okay? Do not forget the receipt. And then you count the money before you keep it. Okay? Thank you, kids. Thank you, kids. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Go. Hey, kids. Now we have finished buying your needs in the house. These are what you bought. And then don't forget to keep your money and give it to your mom. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Teacher Adrian, for teaching us um, to buy something important uh, goods in supermarket or grocery store. And now let's proceed to our next activity. It's about arts and craft. We will show us how to make a dog origami or paper craft. It is prepared by yours truly. Summer camp, Tom Myers for persons with disabilities and their families. August 15, 
Good day, kids. How are you feeling today? Do you remember our lesson last time about making a butterfly origami? I know you like it, but this time we will make another one. So, are you okay? Are you excited? If you can ask me, me too, kids. I'm so excited to make another origami. Now, we will make a poppy origami. So, help the kids. The materials we need, we have one half colored red paper, white paper, scissor, glue, and marker. Now we will fold the colored paper like this. Make sure the edge is aligned. Unfold like this. We will cut the colored paper using the scissor. shape like this. Now, we will fold the colored paper like this. And of course, the other side. This serve as an air of our puppy. Now we will fold the other side like this. And we need to paste this one using our glue stick. Now we need to cut the white paper, only portion. Only the one fourth size of white paper we need. So we have to keep the other white paper for our next activity. Now we will make the tongue of our puppy. Remember kids, by doing this, you have to ask your parents or your guide, your guide, uh, guardian to assist you. That's what I have said, only portion we need. You see 
see this one, kids? This serves as a tan of our puppy. Now, you have to paste this one. So we make another one like this. This serve as a nose of our puppy. We'll tap short. Now we will draw the eye of the puppy using the marker. We need to paste this one as a, as a, as a design of our puppy. And we put it here. There you have it, kids. We have a puppy now. See? And it looks good. Now we have an origami puppy. So, now you know, kids. I know you've learned a lot today. So, try to make this more. And of course, the butterfly origami. Okay, kids? See you again. Bye bye. That art and craft is presented and prepared by your truly. And now let's proceed to the next activities. It's about learning table compilation. Um, learning, uh, learning table compilation or um, it's a arts and craft also. We will show us how to make a spider puppet. And this video is from our guest from Philippines. Summer camp, Tom Mayos, for persons with disabilities and their families, August 15, 2020. Kiwi class, how are you all doing today? I hope you all had a wonderful spring break like Miss Candice had. You know what I've been doing? I was just like this. <laughs> how about you? What have you been busying yourself with? 
I hope you had so much fun, okay? So now we resume back to our online classes. Are you excited for our next activity? Yeah, me too. Look what I have here. What's that? I think it's a, a cat? Mm, a dinosaur? <laughs> oh, I'll put my hands. You see those holes? I'll put my hands there. E, it's actually a spider! <laughs> Okay, so for this week, we're actually going to be talking about popular nursery rhymes. So what do you think is the rhyme that we have for this creature that I have here with me? You're right! It's one of your favorite rhymes. How does it go? Do you remember it? Yeah, it goes, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah! Do you want to make this spider? Okay, good. Now, here's how we're going to be doing it. What do you think are the materials that we're going to be needing? Okay, so what colored papers do you have there? You see black. There's also a little bit of red. And we also have... White. So how many papers are those? You have black, red, and white, okay? But if you don't have these colors, you can just use any other colors that you want, okay? And also, what do you think we'll be needing? So, so you have the three papers. I have it here. See? It's black, red, and white. Also, you might be needing to cut the paper. What do you need? All right, so be careful with this one. So we're going to be needing scissors. Also, we're going to be needing, what else do you think we're going to be needing? All right, we need some glue to stick them together. And also, we might be using some rulers to make this legs. How many legs does a spider have? Huh? Yeah, you're right. There are actually eight, but how many do we have here in this picture in front of me? You have, I only have one, two, three, and four. You know why? Because the fingers that you're going to be putting in, one, two, three, four, will make up for the eight legs of the spider. Okay? So, you have that one. And what else do you think we need? Okay, we, we might also need a plate. What do you think the plate is going to be for? You're right, to make the head of the, and the body of the spider, okay? So are we ready to do this, Kiwi class? Okay, let's do it then. So let's start, Kiwi class. Get your black paper, and also you're going to be needing scissors. Again, let's be mindful because this thing is quite sharp. So please do ask help from your mom and dad, okay? And then, of course, our glue to stick things together. We're also going to be needing the ruler. And, of course, uh, you can get some uh, colored pencils. Now, as I said earlier, we also going to be needing this plastic plate or any circle things that you can get to just trace for the head and the body of the spider. So let's start tracing like this. Get your colored pencil, trace a circle, okay, and then there you have it. So a plate or any circle thing that you have there will do, okay? It doesn't have to be a plate. Now remember the legs that we have for our spider, okay? We can use the ruler to make a line on our black paper. So just uh, make four lines because we're going to be making four legs. And then you remember the eyes of the spider? There is a black circle there. You can draw it from this paper as well. So just draw a circle. So we might need another one because there's like two eyes. And there you have it. 
Next thing that you're gonna do is cut. So make sure you ask help from mom and dad because the scissors is quite sharp, okay? Once you're done, you will have these four pieces. And then remember that red thing for the nose, you will have the circle. And also you will have the two black that we're gonna use for the eyes of the spider. And then from the white paper, you can also cut a bigger circle where we can put this black to make up the eyes and the small red for the nose. Okay, now we can start making our spider. So, we have the glue stick here for the circles in our spider where you can put your fingers in. Remember how many circles that we try to make? You can use the glue to trace the circles and then later on you can just draw. We will be needing four circles for the four fingers that's gonna go through the body of the spider. Okay, once you're done tracing the four circles, it's now time to cut it. Okay, once you cut it in, the four circles, you will have something like this. Okay, now let's try to put our fingers in. There you go. That will be the extra four legs of your spider. Okay? Now let's try to complete our spiders. You have the legs. Now for the legs, our spiders doesn't really have like a straight leg. He has like crooked legs. So this is how we're going to make it look crooked. We're going to be folding this uh, strips of paper into one and then another one that will be two and then three okay just to give the our spider like a crooked legs and then you open it and it will come out like that okay do you remember how many times we're going to fold it can we get another one let's try it okay so we fold it in half like that one time, you put the two end parts together, and then another one, another fold, it's two folds, and then last one. Okay, there you go. So when you open it, then you will have your legs. So let's try to fold the four pieces of the strips of paper, and then you will have this one, okay? Now you have the four legs of the spider, okay? Let's get ready to put them together, okay? Now we're gonna be, let's start with the eyes first. We're gonna be pasting it there and there, so we're gonna be needing the glue. Where is our glue? There you go. Get ready for the glue stick, okay? And then let's put the white part first for the eyes, the big white circle. There you go. And then let's stick the next one. Okay. And the two small dots are gonna go inside the big white circle. Okay. So let's stick that as well. There you go. And then the other one. Okay, now let's get the red part, the small red paper that will be like the mouth or the nose of the spider. Okay, just put it there in the middle. There you go. Now we're gonna put the legs. Now let's try to put on extra glue to make sure that the legs are not gonna come off of your spider okay so just put a gallop there of the glue to make sure it will stick better there you go now on the other side okay let's uh, put a generous amount of a glue as well then the last leg there you go there now you have the 
four legs sticking out and then don't forget to close the glue and now your spider is ready there you go put your fingers in and you're ready yay the itty bitty spider went up the water spout down came the rain enjoy playing with your spider bye for now kiwi class Thank you so much, Teacher Candice, for your educational video you prepared for us. And now let's proceed to the next activity. It's about learning table top compilation activities for kids. It is presented and prepared by Teacher Flora. Summer camp, Tom Myers, for persons with disabilities and their families, August 15, 2020. kids hope you're doing great today again this is teacher floor presenting to you our improvised tabletop materials that serve as a replacement whenever the occupational therapy room is still not available or may be occupied by other students while waiting for the room to be vacant these activities will be given to you and i'm sure you're gonna like it kids because these are fun exciting activities Please stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it and what are the activities for. Are you ready kids? Come on, please watch and join me again. Here's the first file and it consists of the following activities. We have number maze, fastening belt, Inserting pictures through the slits, learning sizes from smallest to biggest, brushing teeth and shapes matching. Are you excited to see what's inside? Okay, here it is. The first activity is inserting pictures through the slits. This activity helps you to enhance coordination of eye and hand movements and develop fine grip and concentration. So how to do it kids? Please watch. Okay, we remove the picture from the slit. We put the picture inside the box below. It's like this. Then after that, we're going to put it back again into the slits like this you insert it slowly yes another one okay push it slowly yeah it's easy right now we move on to the next activity and it is brushing teeth so pretend play you will be able to understand why tooth brushing is important and demonstrate the right way of brushing teeth like for example brush your teeth every after meal and do it for two minutes just like here mm. brush the upper part inner and outer then the lower part same outer and e inner then of course the tongue also got it kids okay let's move on to the other activity next is learning sizes from smallest to biggest this artwork helps you to encourage and strengthen your ability to compare and sort sizes from smallest to biggest accordingly Okay, look at the artwork kids, how to do it. Mm. Yes, smallest to biggest. Okay, for example, we take the biggest one. Then we're going to match, no? Yes, like this. You got it? Nice, right? Next is number maze. This simple maze helps you improve your focus and concentration 
help you understand the process of following the path without touching the sides of the maze. Then it gain your confidence and develop your pencil control. How to do this activity, kids? Okay, we only follow numbers 1 to 10 to help SpongeBob find his fellow. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yay! Finish! Next activity is shapes matching this will encourage you to participate in recognizing identifying naming and matching the same shapes correctly so how to do it kids okay like for example we are going to take the circle and square this now we are going to match yeah, we take the square first. Oh, no. Yes. Must be like that. Next. Yes, circle to circle. Next is fastening belt. This activity will improve your ability and confidence to use belts and buckles as well as an increased awareness of how to incorporate them into your dress and daily routines like for example your pants, belts, funny packs, and backpacks. So how to do it? Like for example, look at the picture. Mm -hmm. So we are going to lock, then unlock. Okay, like this, we are going to unlock the buckle first, and then we are going to lock again, like this. Yes, like that, very good. Now we move on to the second file, and this file consists of the following activities so we have telling time buttoning fishing game feelings recognition picture puzzle and picture puzzles of ordinal numbers first to fifth the first activity on the second file is the picture Puzzle. In this activity, it will develop your hand and eye coordination and fine motor skills, build visual perceptual skills, develop tension, concentration, and thinking skills, and assist language skills as you listen and follow instructions. Okay, and here, look at the picture. We have a pattern here for you to much properly okay now we're going to take the first one okay we have the blue head part of the burr where is it yes like this next the purple head of the burr yes next what's that okay it's the lower part of the blue burr yeah there next the upper middle part of the blue and the purple burr yes the next yeah the lower middle part of the burrs yes like this oh here it is very good Next is buttoning skills. This activity helps you to develop finger control and dexterity to manipulate buttons and promote independence and concentration. So how to do it? Now we are going to take the first circle. Then we are going to button the first wheel of the car. 
Okay, slowly. Yeah, like this. Okay. The next, we're going to button also the picture of a sun. Yes. Okay, you insert the button slowly. Yes, hold on the other side and push on the other side like this. Yay! That's it. It's great, kids, right? Okay. Now we move on to the next activity and it is Magnetic Fishing Game. This activity will help you develop fine motor skills, concentration, focus, and patience. It will also enhance creative thinking and improve your imagination skills. So how to do it? Look at the activity kids. Okay, we take out all the fish from the basket. Yes, like this. Okay, you put it on the blue mat. Now we're going to take the magnet. Yes. Then now, now we're going to catch the fish using the magnet. Okay. This is okay. You got it. You catch the fish. Mm. It's fun, right? Very good. Okay, now when we finish to do the activity, don't forget to put it back, the things in the basket. Okay, kids? Yes, you put it back. Yeah, very good. That's it. Next activity is telling time. This will help you identify the hour and minute hand. It will practice you telling time and compare the hour and minute hands. So for example, look at the activity kids. Okay, this is a clock. Now we are going to identify what is the time. Okay, for example, we move the our hand and the minute hand okay like for example this one so the r is eight and the minute is another so which means eight ten yeah again what's the time kids it's eight ten next activity is Picture puzzle of ordinal numbers first to fifth. You will be able to recognize ordinal numbers from first to fifth, then understand how to order them from first to fifth. Okay, like for example, look at the activity kits. So what we are going to do, we are going to paste the cut strips on the space provided according to the ordinal numbers. Okay, we are going to remove all the pictures. Then we are going to put it back by ordering them from first to fifth. Okay, we start on the fifth strip. Next is the fourth strip. Then third strip. Second strip. Then first strip. So that is first to fifth or fifth to first now we move on to the feelings recognition in this activity you will be able to develop your ability to read other people's emotions identify emotions through words facial expressions and body gestures recognize a feeling or emotion demonstrated by a classmate or a teacher Okay, here's the example. The first emotion or feeling is what is this kids? What do you think? Yeah, it is scared face. Next, it is a 
Mm -hmm. Happy face. Yes. Next. It's a... What's this? It's a sad face. The next. It's a surprise. Yes. And then the next is angry. Yeah, angry. How about your kids? How are you feeling today? I hope you're happy. Now kids, we move on to the third file. It consists the following. Zip and unzip. Phone number practice. Forming a clown face. Lacing. Number sequence. Then rainbow color matching. Are you ready to see what's inside, kids? Okay, just stand by. So here's the first activity. The first one is forming a clown face. You will be able to learn to participate in forming clown face using imagination and creativity. Okay, look at the activity kids. Now we are going to bring out all the face parts of the clown from the envelope. Now we are going to assemble the clown face. We start on the head or hat. Yes. Next, we put the eyes. Yes. Then next is the nose. And then the ears. Now we put the mouth and then the thigh. Okay, here's it. Nice, right kids? When we finish, we put it back again, the parts inside the envelope. Okay. Be sure we put it back all inside. Next activity is number sequence puzzle. This activity will help you meet the following educational standards like understand patterns, relations, and functions. How to do this activity? Okay, look at the activity kids. So what we are going to do, like for example, we are going to remove the other parts of the number sequence puzzle. Okay, we take a uh, four parts so the four three two and one now we're going to count back like five four three two one okay okay kids we count again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's great. Next activity is phone number practice. Here you're going to practice and learn to identify your home phone numbers. Like for example, please look at the activity kids. Okay, we have an improvised telephone here on your activity sheet. Then what we are going to do, 
We are going to practice dialing your phone number in the house, like for example, three three nine four seven two seven two. It's like that. You've got it, kids. Parents, if you have extra telephone or even it's not working, you can give it to your kids for them to practice dialing your home numbers. Thank you. Next activity is rainbow color matching. In this activity, you will be able to learn to recognize the primary and secondary colors and sort and match the same colors. So how to do the activity kids? So we have here strips. Okay, we're going to remove first. Then later on, we're going to put it back one by one. Go so first, we're going to take the yellow one. No. No. Yes. Next, the red. Mm-hmm. Yes. Next. Blue. So where's the blue? Yes. Another is orange. Yeah. Very good. Next is purple. Then green. Yes. Okay, we are going to review again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Okay, you got it, kids. It's nice, right? Okay. Now we move on to the next activity and it is zipping and unzipping. This will help you develop your finger control and dexterity to manipulate a zipper and demonstrate your ability and confidence to use a variety of zippers in your dress like pants, book, bags, pencil case, and others. And now the mouth says here, zip me, unzip me. Okay, now we are going to pull down the zipper to unzip, then pull up to zip. Okay, I think there's something inside. So we're going to check it. Wow, it's small dots. So how many dots we have? Let us see how many. Mm -hmm, yeah, we have four dots. Now we are going to put on top to design the bag. Yes, that's it. Nice, kids, right? Now we are going to put it back again, the cutouts that's inside. Yes. Now we're going to close the zipper. Yeah, very good. Now the last but not the least activity is the lacing. This activity will help you to develop your hand and eye coordination, fine motor and bilateral skills, problem solving, and attention. Okay, we look at the activity kids. So how to do the activity? So we're going to untie first. Okay, we're going to unlace. Yes. Then we're going to lace. Okay. Crisscross style. Like this. Okay, you pull up. Then we are going to tie. Tie the bow. Yes. Okay, like this. So, yeah, finish. Hope you have learned something about this video, kids. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Teacher Flora, for your tabletop compilation.
uh, video you prepared for us. And now let's proceed to the next activity. It's about identifying letters of the alphabet. It is prepared and presented by teacher Adrian. Overcome Tom Myers for person with disabilities and their families. August 15, 2020. Hello kids, once again, we are going to have the English alphabet. Have you already mastered the English alphabet? From A up to letter Z, yes? Okay, we are going to have this now. And later, we are going to have a game. This time, we are going to have or master the initial letters of these English alphabet. Before we begin, let's sing first the song, ABC song. Okay, let's sing. Do you know the song? Okay, let's sing all together. A Jacket. Very good. What else? 
Jam. Jam. Okay, all right. Very good. Letter K. Did you give me words starting with letter K? Kai. Very good. Kai. What else? What else? Can I hear you? Yes. Kettle. Kettle. Next letter is L. Words starting with letter L. Lemon. Will you give me more? Aside from lemon? Lime. Very good. What else? Letter M. Words starting with letter M? Hmm? Yes, mouse. Mouse. What else? What else? Starting with letter M. Your name, all your name, starting with letter M. Michael. Yes, very good. Letter N. Words starting with letter N. What is this? Yes, nose. Starts with letter N. Nose. Nose. What else? Can you give me some? Yes, numbers. These are numbers. Numbers. Starting with letter N. Numbers. Let's have letter O. Starting with letter O. Yes. Orange. 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 What else? Oval. Like this one. Oval. 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 Do it. It's like this. Oval. Do it like that. Oval. It's not a perfect circle, but oval. O. Starting with letter O. P. Starting with letter P. Yes. Pen. What else? Plum. That is a fruit. Plum. Starting with letter P. How about letter Q? Yes. Queen. 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 Starting with letter Q. Letter R. Ra. What? Ra. Yes. Ra. Bit. Starting with letter R. Is yes, very good. Snake is snake starting with letter S. Letter T. T, -t, 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 -t Yes, very good. Tomato starting with letter T. Tomato. How about you? You, you, you starting with letter U. Anybody? Yes. What? Um. Umbrella, very good. Starting with letter U. How about letter V? V. V. Viol. Violin. Yes. Violin starts with letter V. How about W? W. Wa. Wa. Wallet. You know what wallet is? You will put your coins there in your wallet or your money in your wallet. Wallet. Letter X. Do you know xylophone? Do you know xylophone kids? Xylophone starts with letter X. Xylophone. Why? Do you know yo-yo? Yo-yo? Yes, yo-yo starts with letter Y. Yo-yo. And the last is letter Z. As in? Zebra, zebra, zebra. Very good. Let's have a game. Okay. Let's have a game. Let's have a game. We're going to see it. And then you guess what is the next letter. And then you are going to find here the letter and the example of picture. Starting with that letter. Okay, let's 
start again. We are going to sit each chair and identify the letter and guess the letter that is blank or missing letter. Okay, the next letter. Okay, I will begin. Okay. One, ready, get set, go! A B C Oh, there is no letter. What is next to C? Yes, letter? Yes, very good. What letters 
Yes. Yes. B. So, next to B is what? What is next to B? Yes. Yes. Good. Very good. Q. Let's find. Let's look. The picture starts with letter Q. Q. Where is the picture? It starts with letter Q. 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 Let's find. Is this your answer? If this is your answer, you are correct. Quilt starts with letter Q. Quilt. Quilt. We want another game. We want another round. You want another round? Okay, let's have another round. Okay, let's begin. You try. You try. Okay. One, ready, get set, go. How many letters is this? R, yes, R. Thank you so much, Teacher Adrian, for your wonderful video and for teaching our students, our children, how to identify letters of the alphabet. And now let's proceed to the next activity. It's about art and craft. It shows us how to make a dough, identifying sizes small, medium, big, or colored. Green, yellow, red, and it is presented by teacher flora the virtual summer camp tamayos for persons with disabilities and their families august 15 2020 kids stay in the house for now. Hope you're doing great. Again and again, this is Teacher Floor sending you my best regards and wishes you a happy day. Today, I'll show you how to make a simple dough and out of this dough, we can use it in identifying colors like green, yellow and red and sizes like small medium and big so are you ready for the fun and exciting activity kids yes Okay, let's recognize the things needed first. Please check if you have these things in the house too. So we need gloves, water, floor. Food coloring, 
rolling pin, basin or tray, cookie cutter, and table plastic cover. So kids, come and join me! Before we start, we sanitize the table first and the other materials like the cookie cutter we have this small medium and big in size next is the rolling pin the tray and the basin use plastic cover rolls to protect the tabletops from spills, drips, and water rings. Place the basin on the table. Pour the flour in it. Add the water slowly. Stir and knead until firm smooth and shaped like a ball divide the ball into three separate balls press the middle of each ball and drop a small amount of colors red yellow and green knead and squeeze the ball with red color all around until the coloring get mixed nicely on a lightly floured surface roll the ball to be at least one fourth thick Use this small cookie cutter to cut the ball. Put it back this small cut ball on the tray. Continue to do the same process with other colors except in cutting because we use medium cookie cutter in the yellow ball and we use big cookie cutter in the green ball. Okay kids, it's time for us to identify the size and color of its ball. Are you ready? Okay, let's proceed. We have a small in size, medium, and big. And the colors are green, yellow, and red okay kids let us identify again and follow after me pick up the small one and say small red ball next get the medium size and say medium yellow ball and last but not the least Take the big one and say, big green ball. Again, big green ball. Okay, let's review. Kids, will you please point the red small ball? Yes, very good. And the color of this ball is? Yellow, yes, very good. Now we're going to pick up the red one, and that is a small red ball. How about this one, kids? What is this again? It is a mm? it's a big green ball that's great 
Hope you like the activity for today. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Teacher Flora, for your educational video you prepared for us. And now let's proceed to the last activity. It's about art and craft. We will teach you how to make a butterfly origami. And it is presented by yours truly. Craft thumbnails for persons with disabilities and their families. August 15, 2020. Welcome to Summer Calm. Butterfly Origami. Hello kids, good day. How are you feeling today? I hope that you're good. You're doing well. Now this time, we will make Butterfly Origami. So are you excited? Now, help me to make a Butterfly Origami. So the materials needed is Red colored paper Pipe cleaner Scissor And marker First, we have to cut the colored paper like this Cut it one fourth. Now we have one fourth size of colored paper. Now we have to fold the edge of the colored paper like this and of course the other side and after that we need marker we will make the sign to the folded colored paper. like this you will make the sign gently And of course, the other side. It's up to your kids the design that you want. If you want that design, it's up to you.
Then after, we will set aside the marker and close. Then we need to fold the colored paper like this. Fold the colored paper many times. Then we will fold the colored paper half and make it balance like this. Let's set aside and now we will make the other, the other part. We will cut the edge of the colored paper. Then we will make a design using your marker. Your design kids, it depends on you. If you want that, it's okay. You can use colored pencil, or crayons, watercolor, or any you want but this time I use marker Now we will finish the design. We will fold the colored paper same as the other one. You fold like this back to back.
make it sure kids that your design look good then same as the other one you have to fold like this now using the clean pipe we tie the colored paper to connect like this then roll it then let's cut Then try to spread the colored paper like this. Now there you have it kids. We have butterfly origami. You see this one kids? It looks good, it looks beautiful. This is what we made butterfly origami so now kids you know it already and you have some fun okay kids i know you learned a lot today so hope you enjoy bye bye kids thank you kids you enjoy our summer camp activity and I know you are, you enjoy a lot. And thank you so much, kids, everyone, guests, parents, for joining us for this year's summer camp. But before we finally end the summer camp activity, our ever supportive Dr. Hal Al Said will give us a final message. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with the end of uh, today's uh, activity, we will have uh, finished the summer camps uh, Tamayos 2024 this year. Uh, different activities for six days. Uh, three days for Arabic department and the three days for English department. I would like to thank everyone who's helped us making the summer uh, camps Tamayos 2020 for a big success the staff and the specialists of Doha International Center for Special Needs, students, parents, also uh, guests from other countries, Syria or Algeria and Philippines. And a special thanks to Ahmad Musad, designer of summer camps programs. I hope our kids enjoy our summer camp, camp uh, Tamayos this year. And I look for world to see to see you next year 2021 with the new camp and a new idea thank you and goodbye مع انتهاء فعاليات اليوم نكون قد انتهينا من المخيم الصيفي تميز 2020 لهذا العام انشطة متنوعة لمدة ستة ايام ثلاثة ايام لقسم العربي وثلاثة ايام لقسم الانجليزي أود أن أشكر كل من ساعدنا في إنجاح المخيم الصيفي 2020 تميز لتحقيق النجاح الكبير. موظفين وأختصاصيين مركز الدوحة العالمي لذوي الاحتياجات الخاصة، الطلاب وأولياء الأمور، ضيوف من دول أخرى مثل سوريا والجزائر والفلبين. والشكر الخاص لأحمد مسعد مصمم برنامج المخيم الصيفي. أتمنى أن يكونوا أبناؤنا وبناتنا استمتعوا بمخيمنا الصيفي لهذا العام تميز وأتمنى أن أراكم العام المقبل 2021 بمخيم جديد 
وفكرة جديدة أشكركم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته